So my first step for building my uh, model is going to be actually modeling my phone. And I'll be perfect, but I really need to include the overall width. Height would be nice, but not required. Um, I might need to include these bumpers in case I need to slide over them. Depends on which way I tend to attach it. I'm definitely need this big finger, my uh, attachable finger ring, because this phone's really big, so it has a little finger holder. So I'm going to need to know where that is. I definitely want to know where the cameras are, and I want to know where the buttons are, because I don't want to interfere with those. So my first step is I'm going to take and start a, I create a new pro, uh, document. I'm going to start a sketch on the front of that thing. I'm going to hide that. And I'm going to start by doing a uh, center point rectangle. And I'm going to draw something phone shaped. And the first question is how wide is? So I'm going to use my calipers to measure the width. And I'm going to read the caliper number. I'm past the three. I'm not quite, I'm just around two. And my D, the dial is past zero, so it's 3.25678. So 5.828. I'm going to click dimension. I hit the D key for that. 3.208. Oh, I'm going to click front to zoom out. Unfortunately, I cannot caliper the height of my phone because my phone is bigger than the entire caliper. So the height's less important, though, because I am going to probably grab around the outside edge. So I'm using my ruler, and it looks like the phone is 6 and um, 9 sixteenths big. So dimension. Six plus nine slash one six. And that looks kind of reasonable. And I could take and I could sort of hold my phone up to it and scale it and see if I can get close. Oh, it's kind of big with my phone sort of is the same height of my computer screen, but that looks close. So now I'm going to take and extrude. And I'm going to extrude backwards because I want to keep the front of my phone on the front. And I'm going to grab the overall width of my phone with my calipers, and that is 0 0.404. So 0 0.404. I now have a roughly phone-shaped slab. The next step is I'm going to start profiling the size because I do need to put in the fact that my phone has kind of a textured, if you look at it this way, there are sort of some angles. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna use the chamfer tool. I'm gonna select, oh, actually I'm gonna select like that. And the distance is, I believe the height, and I'm looking down at this thing like this. So point one two five, and I'm gonna double check that by going and using the measuring tape, and I want to measure that side is no from here to here. So the distance is point one two five. So that's the overall. Distance, so I'm going to move, change my measurement. It looks like it's really 0.14. So I'm going to go to my chamfer. 0.14. And something doesn't feel right that. Ah, uh, there's a, a radius first. So I'm going to hit check. I'm going to kind of Eyeball the radius, it looks like it's going to be something in the order of 0.15. So I'm going to suppress this. And I'm going to put a, I'm going to click fill it first. Nope. I want this edge, this edge, this edge, 
and this edge, and those are about 0.15. I'm going to move that up before the chamfer. And I'll unsuppress this. That looks a lot closer to the back of my phone. I still need to put some li the lips and stuff in, but we're getting there. It depends on how accurate I need to be. So we're going to do the same thing on the front. So I'm going to hit the chamfer button. And this chamfer is, I know, smaller. And that chamfer looks like it is point, point 0.1. That looks pretty darn good. So now we're getting somewhere. So at this point, maybe nice to put in the little cutaway for my screen is. Um, I don't really care about that actually. So I definitely don't want to come up past these sides. I know. Well, let's put a screen in. So I'm gonna start a sketch on the front of this. And I'm going to start a center point rectangle. I'm not starting exactly on the origin because I don't know exactly where it goes. I'm going to use my calipers to measure screen edge to where the screen is visible. That so looks like it's 2.8. Eight or two point nine oh seven. Two point oh control Z. Dimension two point nine oh seven. And height wise, I probably can. Six point six point one oh so six point um, o eight five, and then from the bottom of the screen, the bottom edge of this thing, I believe it's point two three three. I'm going to have to use the use button to grab that edge. 0.233. Let's see if that looks reasonable. That does. And I'm going to bring that, I'm going to remove 0 0.0001. Just a little bit. That way that surface is just like there. And I'm going to make that a different color. So I'm going to change uh, edit appearance for part one. I want to leave this whole thing blue. I want to edit. Appearance for face. There is my the face of my phone. So next I'm going to add my buttons. So those seem like the next easiest thing to add. So I'm looking at the face and I add these buttons. So I'm going to start a sketch on this surface here. And 
I need to create some ovals, it looks like, some slot shapes. Um, so under a spline. Uh, I'm going to have to do it the, well, let's see if I can do it this way. Escape. And we're going to grab slot. So that thickness is point 0.1. One five. Point one one five. And from tip to tail, this button is point three six two. And from the back of the phone to that spot is point to the top is point two eight five. So used point two eight five, and then from the top of my phone to there. Looks like it is going to be point one five six or point one five five six. Use top of this thing. Point no one point five five six. Let's put another button. I don't know why the escape key is not working. Escape line. And we're gonna double check the length. Yeah. Those are equal. So I'm going to say this is equal to this, and this is horizontal to this. And we're going to use a slot. Point one one five. Oh, we didn't get the vertical. So this point here is vertical to that line there. Okay, good. And between the two of them, is point O eight, so O eight seven. O eight seven, that looks good. And the third button, I think it's the same thickness. Yep. So we're going to take and draw a third line. This line is longer than the other two. But he is. I don't know why escape's not working. So this is vertical to this. Slot. Point one and five, and the length of this button is point four five zero oh, exactly. Point four five zero, oh. and the distance between the button here and the button here. It's point three three. 
that looks kind of right, but I'm going to take one more measurement and I'm going to take from the bottom of my phone to the um, bottom of the button. And make sure we're like close. So 0.38 ish. Let's just see what that number is. I'm going to put a hit the use button. Three seven seven eight. That's very reasonable. I don't want to change that because if I change that, it's going to break. It'll call it red because I can't do all those. So I'm going to now extrude all those, and they all come out just a little bit from the thing. They are not super tall. I'm going to go between the two buttons, and then the reading is 0.04 even. Um, I don't want that one. There we go. So there is my buttons. That's one big item that I need. I need to know where this big oval on the back is, is where my camera lens area is. So I'm going to take and I think the easiest way is just treat this like a big pill shape. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to start a sketch on here. I'm going to start a line. And I'm going to make a slot on that line. Uh, right click, escape line. And that slot would be roughly point six nine one point six nine one the outside of this to the outside of the phone is one point one inches one one or one point oh one so for oh one Uh, crud. Uh, 0. 0.760. All right, good day. We did that. Now, for, uh, oh. try it again. Point seven six zero. Oh, enter. Now I can dimension from here to here. And we said that was one point one point one oh one one point oh one. That looks un that doesn't look unreasonable. In the bottom of the thing is 1.868 and the bottom of the thing it doesn't really matter that much this is just stylistic now is 0.25, so 0.25, and I'm just going to cut that inward some. Just so I avoid in that area. Now I need my finger thingy. I'm just going to build the rough shape. I could make this more complicated, but right now I'm just going to build a rough uh, model of that. And we'll do that, and then we'll probably stop the video there. I think I'll ignore, ignore these bumpers right now and see if they matter, because I think I want to clip it around the back instead of sliding it down. 
So let's put that big bumper thing on. Don't the square doesn't matter. He's underneath. He doesn't change anything really. So we're gonna draw another sketch. I'm gonna draw a line on this. I don't know exactly how big. Nope. I'm gonna use our slot tool again because I really like that tool for this shape because we have a lot of pill shapes. And this slot is 1.37 wide, 1.37, and tip to tail, we will make it, this way we'll fix, we'll fill those corners in, in a second, but that is 2.207. Two point two oh seven, uh, and then from the bottom of the phone to the bottom of this is one point uh, eight five five. One point eight five five is turned black. Now we're gonna draw in the sort of weird shapes. I'm gonna use the line tool. I know that this line here is vertical, and this here is tangent to the curve. Cause I that's how I did my measurements. Oh, and that line is horizontal. That's why it's not turned blue. There we go. And then I can take off these two corners. They look like they're 45 degree angles. So these are effectively equal to each other. And from here to here is going to be 45. And here to here is also. 45, and the length of those is 0.5 even. 484, close enough. Okay. So I'm going to finish the sketch. We're going to extrude that. That and that, and we're going to just do the height of point oh four five. And what really matters is that's a no go zone, so most of my stuff has to go between these areas, but it has to avoid the buttons. So I'm probably going to, have to go lower. So I'll take a look and see what makes the most sense. Or maybe I can go between these two buttons, make something fairly thin that goes between those buttons, and then our track goes below that. So we'll take a look at the next step, but that's the end of this video.